And if you went to Mark's earlier talk this morning, he kind of went through a big bunch of these. Scott covered a few of these in his talk involving websites. I'm going to spend most of my time here on the Virtual Machines tab, which is our infrastructure as a service offering. And so very, very quickly, you can just go in here, you can say new, and it pops up, and I can say, okay, virtual machine, and go straight to quick create. And so with this, I have a few options now that I can quickly start with and get going. One is, of course, the DNS name. And so for this, I'll say demo, let's say query demo. Make sure it's not taken. I'm gonna do, as you can see from the pull down, all the images that I just mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and do server 2012. I'm gonna make it small, so one core. Right now I can go up to eight cores with 14 gig memory. Pick a password. Okay, and then I'll go pick a region, and I say West US, and I'll go ahead and create that. Okay, and it's off. So another sort of example, and I showed you that you can do it both through the portal and you can also do it through the PowerShell scripts. I'll quickly pull up this example as well. And so here's what I've done, uh, and I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on this, but I do want to sort of show you and, and give you an example of what this looks like and sort of how easy this is. So I, I built sort of a PowerShell script. The key thing is that I, of course, import the module to do it. One aspect that you need to do as part of using PowerShell is we have this, oh, that's a terrible circle. I apologize. I design things better than I do circles. Okay. Um, uh, you, you can go ahead and say, I want to import my published settings file. Right? And the reason for this is that there's obviously a security mechanism for you to get access to your account and be able to do things against it. We try and make it extremely easy for you to be able to do this. And so it's a simple PowerShell command that, will, that you can call to go get this, uh, uh, this published setting file and then use it repeatedly. And you have that access then on that local box. And so for here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, the, the image that I'm choosing, you can see a SQL server. Okay? Uh, and of course, I'm picking my storage location. And so from there, I can go ahead and run. Let's go ahead and change the name, just in case. Okay, go ahead and save. Okay, and there we go. It does create a new VM, and it should be up and running. All soon. So you see this other this other VM that I just started. It's going through provisioning. I'll explain that in a little bit more detail later. And of course, we will see the machine that I just created here spin uh, appear in the window here in a moment. Well, sort of while we're waiting, let's we can go back to the slides and. Keep